So here is the way I print my Warren's ABS parts on regular Ender printer. Um, it's Ender 3. I had that simple mod to cover all the air access to the part and also fans, blower fan is separated because they share the same pin with the uh, motherboard cooling fan and I'm ramping up the fan and this one is not turning on, perfect for ABS. I use BL touch for leveling, regular print bed, I roughed it with uh, 100 grid sandpaper and multiply directions and it has perfect grip for ABS. I don't have any lifting corners or anything like that. Um, I use this ABS on a temperature of 230 and bed and 100 and before printing I clean the bed with APA 99% cheapest one I don't think it's 99 it's about 90 ish and I will show you later how the part is gonna look like. I mostly place parts uh, parallel to X axis. In this case, we will have as less bed movement as possible. That will help us to prevent parts overcooling. Here are the parts printed in ABS. This is the method I showed before. Uh, this is afterburner. Uh, I printed those in PTG. I don't see reason to print ABS and go through the struggles. And those are printed in ABS uh, with the method I just showed. You see, tolerances are perfect, everything perfect, no wrapping, no issues. I have plans to use that Triangle Labs uh, dual drive extruder. I decided to buy a whole extruder, it's like extra $2, but uh, I have plans to use it before putting it into this. Uh, before <clears throat> I printed um, the whole afterburner in PETG and it works perfectly. So um, I think if you are going to run chamber, your printer in a chamber, that makes sense to use ABS. If you are using afterburner for uh, PLA or PETG, I don't see a reason to go with ABS at all. Uh, and you know, all the fumes and all the problems you can experience with it. So, that's pretty much the way how parts are looking. Um, I removed the brim. I use brim in this case. That's it.